Okay, hold that. Okay, I got it. And see if I can get it right in there. Too high. Too high? Oh. You're right. How's that? Look good? Uh huh. Yep. Indiana. Indiana! Woo! -hoo! You guys have a beautiful state. Yes. Um, oh my gosh. It's beautiful uh, state park. Yeah. Beautiful state park. You, uh, <clears throat> the folks that work here, the DNR guys, you guys, y'all do a great job. And uh, thanks for the hospitality. We really appreciate it. We've had a great stay. Good morning everyone, Matt Nomadic Native back with you. Thanks for tuning in. Um, have a question for you guys. Uh, with RVs that have slide outs like ours, we have the Power Gear slide out system. And uh, how often do you guys uh, lubricate your slides, the, uh, the actual gears on your slides? And uh, what kind of uh, uh, slide out lubricant do you use? Uh, for the last couple of years, I've been using this about every month. Um, it's a slide out dry lube protectant. And uh, this seems to have been working pretty good for us, but I don't know if this is the right stuff to use. So it's a dry lube. Uh, I've run out of it and uh, wasn't able to find it locally. And it's time for me to uh, lubricate the slides. So I you know, went in search of, wasn't able to find it, but I was able to find this. I think 3-in-1 is a good brand, right? Uh, it says RV Care Slide Out Silicone Lube. Um, I was reading the back of it here and it says that it, uh, you know, it won't attract dust and debris and all that. But uh, I've never tried this stuff before. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to this time. So uh, that's why I'm asking the question, what kind of slide do you have, slide mechanism? And uh, is this the right type of lube? What do you use? I'm gonna to have to use this. Have you ever used this and is it any good? So uh, please, down there in the comments, let me know, okay? Um, let me know what you use and how often you use it. Thanks. I just used an old piece of cardboard behind the gearing so I don't uh, get it all over the slides like I did back in the early days. Uh, it only took once to learn. Seems to go on pretty wet, but uh, it says it's a long-lasting lubricant <clears throat> created to help all types of RV slide-outs, and it's quick drying. Uh, won't attract dust or debris, leaves a waterproof protective film to reduce friction and wear, and safeguards against rust and corrosion. Okay, well, there you go. Three in one. So we're having an issue in our coach and the issue is unless we plug up the sinks with their stoppers all three sinks and remove the um, <clears throat> the drain tube from the washer out of the plumbing and plug the plumbing with a cork that fits the tube before we take off by the time we get three miles down the road the coach smells like our gray tank and what I'm finding out is this is a uh, kind of a common issue. I've been talking to uh, some other Class A owners 
and it appears that uh, you know a lot of people have this issue and uh, I'm going to try and solve it what I think is happening is as we're going down the road air is being forced into the vent pipe up on the roof and that's forcing air into the gray tank and coming into the coach so I talked to Brian the uh, service manager at Litson RV about uh, what type of vent cap I could put on there that would might help us with that issue I was thinking about one of the ones that spins so the opening is always facing away from the airflow uh, he told me that uh, one of these 360 siphon vents would work really well for us so we're going to install one of these and see how it works okay so I've already been up on the roof to do a test fit and as it turns out I'm not going to need these two pieces I'm only going to need these two and this piece is going to sit down inside the vent pipe and it fits in here like so like that so first thing I'm going to do is uh, use some uh, silicone adhesive and this is premium silicone glue um, and it's clear won't break down in uh, won't freeze and won't break down in the sun airtight waterproof there we go That should be good enough. I'll just stick it down in here. <clears throat> Make sure it's straight. Yeah, that should be good enough, right? See it? So we'll just let it sit here and uh, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Let the uh, sun move and get some shade up there on the roof and then we're going to go up on the roof and install this okay you guys might not be able to hear this very well because the air conditioners are going on up here are going off up here i've already uh pulled the screw out comes out of there and this is going to have to be cut off because it blocks okay I'm just going to use some side cutters. Cut that off. That's going to fit on there just like that. Okay, that ought to be enough to hold it. Alright, there we go. Now we just let it dry and it is installed. So have you ever seen a real live mole? You can't even go through the roots. There's a real live mole. If you've never seen one, now you have. And that's an unhappy one. Yeah, he's, he's not real he, happy right he's now. He's not real happy right now. Uh, he wants to go dig. He'll go up. <clears throat> go find him a spot. You gotta find a soft spot. Yeah, let's put it back over here. Let's put it back over here on the soft stuff. Oh yeah. You'll find that spot again. There you go, look. There's another one in there. Yep, he's right there. Yep. <clears throat> he's calling for his buddies, isn't he? 